right, it's time to get a WWE <laughs> SmackDown for November 25th, <laughs> 2000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we all I got is a hey, turkey. In the, uh, gonna... You know the the mm-hmm. the first bumper at the very beginning of the show where it like shows like the globe and all that shit, all the logos and all. Mm-hmm. Is that real mm-hmm. words mm-hmm. that they're saying, or is it Jim Johnson right, style? Right, where it's right, not. Right, it's Jim. Yeah. It's Jim Johnson style yeah. words. You know. Yeah, I actually don't like know it. what they say. Yeah, I've never tried to decipher it. You play I've it considered- backwards. <laughs> it says, <laughs> says Rhino is coming. More boys are coming. <laughs> More turkeys this are coming. Rampage, baby. <laughs> oh, shit, this is a show I've been this waiting on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, maybe it's someone should like. The rails. You think if you like just slow it down, it would like you'd hear words? I no, I think it's just a bunch of. Uh, someone test these theories and let us yeah, know. What yeah, you get. yeah. Uh, this episode of SmackDown was the Thanksgiving episode for 2004. On. Ooh. Thursday, right? On it was on, yes, mm-hmm. on Thanksgiving, but I wow. assume it was taped on Tuesday. So before we get into this episode here on Thanksgiving, we're going to mm. talk about a little bit of the Observer Notes, or more so the F4W Notes, as the Observer Notes are not archived for some reason in 2004. Oh, just taking a, taking a week off, huh, Dave? Just taking a, a whole week year off. off. Taking a whole year off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I don't know why they're not archived, but anyways, Brian Alvarez is, is the F4W Newsletter number 493. Okay. He talks about the rise and fall of ECW DVD, which uh, time will tell that this DVD was a big catalyst in bringing back ECW in the first place. And for ruining Brian, my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Alvarez writes, a lot of people figured that the rise and fall of ECW DVD would sell well, but I don't think anyone realized just how hot of an item it would be. Ever since its release on Tuesday, we'll be getting email after email saying one of two things. One, the DVD is sold out everywhere. Or two that this person managed to snag one of the few remaining DVDs at their local video store, and it was wow. excellent. That's, I mean, I love that DVD. I think that, I honestly think that DVD may have changed how they did DVD, like, documentaries going forward, too. Because I, yeah, I think that, so. like... I watched it a lot. It, I've, I've, honestly, every probably three months, it, I just put it on when I go to sleep. Just to have, you know, because it's, it's Dude, a lot of good shit ever, on there. You ever wake up with the menu music? Do, 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 You could ask my roommate. He hated that shit. <laughs> the menu is music. That, yeah. So Especially is that TNA because TNA DVDs had a 15 second loop. At least WWE <laughs> oh, had a full song. TNA yeah, was 15 right. seconds. And it was yeah. hard reset every 15 <laughs> seconds. So. Would, oh. would you get, would that, I don't know if you have any stats or anything, but would that probably be the best selling WWE DVD of all time? If up not, there. it's up there, I'm sure. I, yeah. I One of the I best received th- ones, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I wonder, I don't know how that is with, like, streaming stuff now. I don't even know if anything can even touch it, but I imagine it's one of, if not the greatest one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, probably. this is the DVD that Big Show was talking about later on in the show when we get into <laughs> Just it. Just showing it. He didn't have yeah. to, it sounds like, though. Uh, there was also something here from Alvarez that says that he read an article on a wrestler named Michelle McCool Alexander, hmm. one of the Diva Search girls who appeared on SmackDown on the episode we're watching. Uh, apparently, this is the first time that she was on SmackDown. I think we should change that name. I think she should go by Cool Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> I think That'd we can make that work. Sweet, yeah, I think so. <laughs> and in other news, WWE threatened a lawsuit against TNA if they aired the video footage shot during the invasion of WWE's Royal Rumble commercial <laughs> taping at Universal Studios last invasion, week. Invasion, they call it. Okay. With, the, with the cookies? And the with the cookies balloons? and the balloons? Yes, yeah. this is and exact Ray, one. <laughs> Rey Mysterio on mass just hanging out, eh? How's it going? <laughs> super nice. Everyone was super but nice. They, they ended yeah. up airing it and they didn't get a lawsuit? What happened? Because they I, ended up they blurred. blurring the faces. Yeah. So it Which, worked out. I guess... That's how that works, but they they spent that whole episode of that Impact one. Did we review that? They spent that whole episode like teasing that. I'm pretty sure Frank Kazarian was Triple H (laughs) during that or some or PD was. Oh, he was. Yeah, Yeah, one of them was. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's funny. Wow, that's around that time, huh? So the F4W newsletter number 494. Whoops. Brian Alvarez says in an incredibly weird story, Jerry Lawler was the victim of an alleged plot by Crooked Memphis Police last week. To rob his home and, if necessary, kill him. <laughs> what, what the fuck? What? Alvarez writes. Hold on now. This is that is ve- that is, that is very incredible. specific. That's Alvarez very specific. What the writes, hell? This is one of those strange but true stories I couldn't make up if I tried. 
Okay. So this is a very long and drawn out sure. uh, article piece here. So I'm going to okay. summarize it really quick sure. in quick points. If you want to look this up for yourself, you can. Um, like I said, F4W Newsletter 494 or just Google it. So a Hooters girl, Lawler was, I'm guessing, dating or fucking at some point. Shocking. Was using him to case his house and figure <laughs> out when he wasn't there. And then she worked with, I believe, two others. And then people on the inside in the police department to rob Jerry while he was away for raw tapings. And if he was home, to kill him. Oh my God. What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, which was a pretty crazy sounding story. So um, if you want to read more about that, you can. Uh, I just Dude, thought I'd insane. put that in there. What that the is fuck? fucking crazy, actually. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I know. I couldn't believe it when I was reading. I thought it was like a rib at first. I was like, I, I didn't even I know what I was gonna looking say, at. Like that, it, went so, it took such a hard turn. Like, oh, they, they're going to plan to rob him and, or, you know, kill him. Kill <laughs> it's him. Like, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep or I'm going to set my house on fire. <laughs> One of those two. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Uh, and the last thing here I have from F4W is the big backstage story of the week, which was a oh. fight between Rene Dupree and Bob Holly. That's what I, okay. I uh, thought so. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> so on this episode yeah. that we end up covering here in a few minutes, uh, Rene Dupree came out with a big old shiner on nice, his right eye. Nice mouse just under his eye. Yeah, it was looking rough. They say on the show that Fifi did it. <laughs> Fifi, Fifi Gate? Oh, Fifi no. Gate. Alvarez writes, apparently everything stemmed from Renee getting a speeding ticket while driving a rental car taken out in Bob Holly's name. In order to resolve the issue, Bob Holly had to fly out to another city. Well, that's how he resolved the ticket issue. He resolved his personal issue with Renee Dupree by beating the shit out of him during a tag <laughs> match at the Syracuse house show. Holy shit. Damn. Alvarez writes, several minutes into the match, he was brawling outside with Rene Dupree. He grabbed a chair and waffled him with a chair shot. Rene dropped into a fetal position, at which point Holly grabbed him and began punching him full force in the face. The guys what in the, the ring hell? must have figured out something was wrong because they went right to the finish. Rene Dupree grabbed his belt and started walking to the back. And he turned around and saw Bob Holly following him and started running oh for God. his life. Jesus Christ. The two then got into it again backstage a little later. Huh. Whoa. Wow. And this That's... is why Renee had the black eye. I wonder how much that ticket was for. It doesn't say, does it? I think it was more so because Holly had to fly out to another Sure. To I mean, it. honestly, it wouldn't surprise me even if he didn't have to fly out if he would have done the same exact thing. I think that you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, uh, I had a, yeah, Bob I had a feeling was just crazy. That was, I mean, and that was quite the fucking shiner he had on his fucking face too. Uh, Jesus, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, you know, just uh, get a little, get a little trouble. Hey, I'm gonna try to kill you. That's uh, yeah, that's. That's for true. What were the ratings looking like around this time for SmackDown? The, uh, well, for this show, uh, SmackDown, of course, a Thanksgiving night special. Uh, the SmackDown Thanksgiving night tradition uh, did a low 2.7, which isn't surprising because usually holiday shows suck ass. But I don't know why, boys, because, man, what a fantastic episode of professional wrestling I think this was. Right, Tony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about this real quick. <laughs> the ratings might be low, but do you think the gates are always fine? It seemed like it was a packed house, right? Yeah, so that's how what I, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Like I yeah. think gates probably don't see too much of an issue because I feel no. like on holidays, you're looking for something to do, and you know, sure. and a lot yeah. of are closed. Yeah. Why not just go to a WWE well, show? Well, this was, you know, like well, a, this was on Tuesday uh, anyway, right? So... Yeah, sure. and if you're in a town that doesn't get WWE a lot, they could just be like, yeah. oh, yeah, they they do pretty good because people are like, oh, I want to go see live wrestling, WWE. That's that's a fair question, though, James. I imagine the only, like, I imagine that's a gradual thing. Like, your ra like if your ratings are consistently, like, going down, I imagine your gate kind of follows, but I don't, I can't imagine it's like, uh, you know, I don't. I, I wonder if I. I would love to find out the gate for that show actually compared to like the week before to see if maybe if there is actually any correlation to ratings and and gate like that. That's interesting. I actually don't know how it works in America or with WWE, but I know in Japan, public holiday shows are a really big thing. Yeah, uh, because everything's closed except for wrestling. So like, oh yeah, yeah, you know Tokyo and and that's pretty centralized. Yeah. Um. So. I mean, even just the other day, um, there was a, I don't know what holiday it was, a public holiday in Japan. Uh, okay. And I think Sendai 
uh, TJPW and Ice Ribbon had a show on the same day. Oh, oh Jesus. Wow. Yeah, just uh, because it's a public holiday and people are out looking for something to do. Sure. I was uh, I was curious. I went and looked back. So November 25th today, 2.7. That's 2004. November 18th, the week before, uh, did a 3.7. So it was a whole point drop. Uh, yeah, I assume yeah the the ratings on TV do drop. Yeah, the week after they uh, did a three point four, so it was right kind of right back up. So yeah, that's but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I don't know. It looked like a packed house to me. Yeah, yeah I went to a to I went to a Raw when they taped a couple years ago, and they taped two episodes of Raw. They had like one for was it a holiday bef- thing? Yeah, it was like a before, and then the Christmas episode was taped oh. that, as well. And it was a packed house there. Like everybody was there for it. But I mean, it was like a week off, so maybe that had a difference. But I don't think those. Shows do take are a raw dip in, ticket like, prices attendance. different when they're doing two shows like that? Oh, it was just no? a normal raw ticket price, yeah. Oh, huh. so I don't hmm. know. Interesting. All right, now time to get to the actual show here for SmackDown, blah, the blah, Thanksgiving blah, blah, episode. Blah, 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 blah. We That's need the a pre-tape sorry. Sorry, <laughs> video <laughs> package <laughs> of Vince McMahon thanking just the troops for Thanksgiving. Nobody else. Fucking love America. The US troops. US <laughs> You're not a troop. Yeah. Fuck USA. you. USA. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. We love the troops. Fuck yeah, America. Fuck yeah, guns. Let's fuck go. the FBI and fuck all the army troops <laughs> fighting for one bitch. <laughs> P.O. man. <laughs> P.O. man. <laughs> fighting for what bitch? <laughs> I need to buy that shirt. That's real talk. Then uh, I won't be denied. You guys dude, like this song? So- yeah, I I actually am not a fan of this song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pretty low energy theme song for SmackDown, huh? I feel like I, there are because ver- there's like seven versions of Rise Up, and I think two different bands did it. Right? I think Drowning Pool did it, and then Drowning Pool with a different singer or something like that. Like, <laughs> Drowning Ocean, yeah. of course. Yeah, <laughs> Dr- Drowning Ocean. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, they so yeah they switched from I want it all to Rise Up like maybe two months before this or something like that. Oh really? Okay. Um, but like even even here like this is like the fourth version of Rise Up and it's only been around for like maybe Trying a to month figure or it two. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not crazy about it. I did. I am a little nostalgic for that intro video though. The, with yeah, the I was green gonna say. I, I feel like film. I, I feel like I've seen that intro a lot. Was it in a video they game or something? They kept it for a while. Yeah, it was definitely in a few games for sure. Because I uh, remember that intro a lot. And then it ends with Undertaker goozling you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yes. I always I remember, remember that. Undertaker from that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, Rey Mysterio. Have... Rey Mysterio and Undertaker. I oh, yeah, that sure. One. They even had Charlie Haas in this one. I was like, wow, this is they're filling up spot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we start with the cold open here. It shows a graphic for Eddie and Booker versus JBL and Orlando Jordan later. So this was not your average graphic. <laughs> this stunned me, James. What I was mean? stunned by this. It's Eddie and Booker and JBL and Orlando Jordan. It's a graphic that got you know. It's Thanksgiving e. You know, it's it's a mm. nice. And then from the side of the screen, looks out this little fucking turkey. It's seen like animated turkey. I'm like, whoa! Look at this fucking little dude. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Look at little gobble gobble gobble. That's fucking true. And then he gets annihilated with a fucking trash can. Die. Oh my god! Die! He <laughs> annihilated. He oh, hits with a trash can, really? flies off the screen. Oh my god! This is horrifying. If I was if I was like a seven year old kid, that might scar me for life. That fucking thing. That was a Vince call, right? He's on the turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah I killed a turkey. Kill it. How about how about we we chop his head off, Vince? I don't think I don't think we can. All right, right. blood. <laughs> what the Play juice. On. Play him on the Undertaker's symbol. We don't even do that anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bring it back <laughs> for the dick. Bring back the symbol. I swear to God. Why is TK around in 2004 <laughs> talking about the turkey? <laughs> I'm starting AEW right now. <laughs> Where's the bodies? <laughs> <laughs> and the turkeys. <laughs> so Joy Giovanni sets up a table out there by the ramp. Yeah, uh, with a bunch of food for Thanksgiving. Or uh, I'm sorry, the big show Thanksgiving. It is. So mm-hmm. the food, as you know, as you can note here, boys, already out there. It's all done. There's turkeys. There's pies. She is the official server 
of the Thanksgiving so Big you're Show event. Telling me this food is gonna be cold by the time we have. I, well, I'm I'm not gonna say it's a cold egg buffet, Tony Pizza oh, guy. It's a but cold I, egg buffet. <laughs> it's a cold egg buffet for but sure. But this food, there's no, there's, they're just in pots and it's just laying. There's not warmers <laughs> underneath. You know, and then warmers? yeah, Joy is leaning <laughs> over the table, sniffing everything, like with her ass mm. out, like shouts out for true, but like she is bent over this table, just. Practically nose deep in this turkey's ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's smelling. Fuck. It. She's putting her nose right up to like the deviled eggs. Like, God <laughs> damn, you are a different monster, man. Yeah, That's bro. crazy. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't even remember Joy Giovanni that much. I swear to God, she was in one video game. game that I played. That she, she I think was she was. She was in what? Oh seven. Is that yeah, the only that, one she's that's in? That's the only thing I no, really it could have remember. Been 07, it mu- maybe it was maybe she was just an SVR, actually. Did she win the original uh, SVR? Contest? Or 06? Did she what win? Did she, what did she do in the she WWE? Won Diva Search. She was on I the legit Diva Search. only remember her for, for being maybe the Big Show's girlfriend. Okay, so she was in a Diva <laughs> Search and she was signed after, a few days after elimination. Is that what her gimmick was? No, I thought she they debuted were like dating as a massage she was in, therapist. Were they she dating? was in SVR 2006. Okay, 06, right. And she might have been in Day of Reckoning as well. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna say this, Joy Giovanni. Shout out! You look fantastic. Yeah. God bless you. But really? yeah, what the fuck are you doing down there, girl? Yeah, <laughs> smelling the devil eggs. Yeah. You're different. She, she was. She was fucking. You know, Big Show was her boyfriend. At least I. I or maybe not. I, I feel like that's what it was though. Something like that. Like they were some. I don't know. But sure. Good. God, uh-huh. God bless her. Uh, but yeah, Big Show Thanksgiving tonight. They show a graphic, and oh my God, watch out, turkey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking turkey gets annihilated there's again. Two cooked turkeys on the right, and on the right, <laughs> the turkey dies and turns into a cooked turkey on the right. So that's pretty good. It's fucking horrible, man. I love uh, how Big Show, it, like, when it shows the animated version of the Big Show Thanksgiving graphic, he looks down at the turkey and gets pissed off and then looks back <laughs> up at the thing. It just worked out like that. He didn't do it on purpose. It just worked out like that. That's awesome. I like to think that they did. They noticed. They're like, I'll keep that. That's good. So next up, we have the Tory Wilson Town Hall. Tory Wilson wishes everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Tory's music hits and Taz says, wahoo. <laughs> Taz was going nuts all night. Taz, oh, big brother. Joy Crazy. Giovanni guy. Very Taz. big Joy Giovanni guy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, the crowd, big Tory Wilson people, because there was a sign in the crowd that said, I want to stuff Tory's turkey. <laughs> I think that was Kenzo Suzuki in the crowd. <laughs> there was also <laughs> one sign said, when I see Tory, I'm in glory. Uh, Tori says that she hopes that everyone has saved room for dessert. The dessert, of course, being SmackDown action. So we get Rey Mysterio versus Rene Dupree. With Fifi. Rene Fifi. Dupree and his dog Fifi. Would not, Fifi. I don't know which Fifi this is, though. I think this is OG Fifi, Tony. There's no discrepancy here. This is not <laughs> Fifi is Gate not hasn't started Fifi. yet? No, I think Fifi Gate's later. I guess Fifi Gate is giving him the black eye, right? Because he gave him the black eye, too. Fifi yeah, attacked he gets a new Fifi. Rene Dupree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they had to put him down. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, uh, Fifi Gate, is, we've talked about this before on the show, we're pretty sure Fifi is not always the same dog. They just get There's a no dog way that looks close enough. Dog. Yeah. So, so you just get a different dog every time. Which yeah. is bullshit, actually. You don't do that to dogs. You don't just fucking do that. That's fucked up. Dogs uh, are like life partners. Come on, Renee yeah. Dupree. Rain Dupree. Dog uh, Ray's gear here is awesome. It's like dark blue with the, the yellow 619 text. I love it. What like about his Survivor sweet. Series 2002 gear, though? I think the Survivor Series 2002 <laughs> gear looked like this smacked ass. <laughs> <laughs> but Taz says that Rene Dupree's eye is due to some Fifi action. That did that. The Fifi action. Michael oh, no, Cole. bro. <laughs> Michael Cole says, what did you say? <laughs> some what, dude? <laughs> Uh, Rene Dupree, of course, his gimmick is that he is from French. France. He's very yes, French. That's his gimmick. Or yeah, hell. Or hell. Same yeah, difference. Whatever. <laughs> um, big ECW guys in the crowd tonight. Um, oh, yeah. You can hear yeah. it throughout the show. Bring back ECW signs all over the fucking crowd. Sure. Um, which is crazy, but I guess, you know, people really wanted it at yeah. the time. And of, of course, at Armageddon, it's going to be RVD and Ray against Kenzo and Rene Dupree for the tag titles, which is why they're doing these matches here tonight. Kenzo yeah, and Rene Dupree would be the tag team champions, right? They are the tag team. Did they ever have a name, or they were just Kenzo and Rene? I do not think they had a team name. Okay, yeah. There's yeah, no Renee's, way. <laughs> Rene's eye yeah. is fucked here, dude. And speaking Fucking of that, Rene hell. Dupree holds the title upside down when he shows it off. He does? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's all I do in France. Great. Yeah. There's a USA chant <laughs> in this match, which is great. <laughs> <I love> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> True. Uh, Ray starts the awesome. match as a rope juggle arm drag that looked great here. 
That didn't look um, cool. Ray goes for a springboard. Renee hits a nice drop kick out of midair. It looked really good. Oh, this he like does a tries to go for the like springboard fucking splash and gets annihilated with a fucking drop kick. Uh, Taz says, "How old is Renee? He's been twenty. He's been twenty for three years. <laughs> <laughs> what?" <laughs> Uh, Rene Dupree goes for a guillotine leg drop. Ray moves out of the way. Ass just fucking straight Breaks in the mat. his ass. Oh, oh my sucks. god. Fuck, that sucks. Hey, how come Rene Dupree was playing with his cock this whole match? <laughs> I don't know, man. That dude's going <laughs> he crazy. Would, he wouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Even Deb was like, this is cock. I was like, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you like that. <laughs> so Ray hits a wheelbarrow bulldog. Rene kicks out of this. Um, yes. Rene then does... The French tickler dance. Um, oh my yes. god! This is, this is oh a my Taz line. God. Taz, Taz loves does the this French line. tickler yeah. dance. Taz, yeah, he, he does the dance. Cole says, "You love this guy, huh?" And Taz says, "I'm a French man. I got a French tickler or something." <laughs> <laughs> Taz is fucking fantastic. This is hey, fucking dark Taz. This is awesome. Is. I got a fresh tickler or something. <laughs> it's very me. I love Taz so much. Holy shit. I'm a French man. Yeah, well, Ray true. eventually hits the head scissors into the rope. 619. Does a springboard leg drop. He, uh, yeah. Michael Cole says he's dropping the dime. Dropping the dime. Yeah. That's a damn. All right. Uh, and then Ray wins. Uh, we go backstage. Kenzo Suzuki is backstage waiting by the TV. Suzuki is checking out Tori Wilson's boobies. <laughs> yeah. Tori Wilson is just walking around shaking fans' hands, and Ken Suzuki is horny. And then his wife shows up, Hiroko, and says, uh, Hey, how's it going? You want, uh, she, and she has like, you know, some Thanksgiving theory. She said, You want a leg? You want a wing? And Kenzo looks at the screen and says, Big smile on his face, breast. <laughs> 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 and then Hiroko looks at him, looks at the screen, looks back at him, and says, Oh my God. <laughs> And runs away. Didn't, Kenzo didn't close his mouth the entire segment. He was <laughs> mouth agape the whole time. He's in glory, bro. <laughs> so this actually oh, leads to an angle with with Tori later on down the line. Shockingly, yeah. But yeah. Some, somehow they decided they want to do this. So um, Hiroko, they actually get end up getting released like after this storyline with Tori. I'm pretty sure that's his really shoot wife, right? Much. Yeah. Yeah. They're, so they're still, still married now. Yeah. 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 They are. Um, she was his valet at the time, so she's she's like dressed up in like geisha stuff she's got the kimono yeah. and the white face and then they have her have a bra and panty match later with Tori Wilson. of course of course well it actually yeah. turns out to not be a bra and panty match it's a kimono match oh and she gets right. straight down to her bra and panties. Uh, of course <laughs> it's a rip off the clothes <laughs> match <laughs> rotc match yeah she, they got uh, you on that Hiroko eventually becomes the general manager of Hustle, by the way, in 2005. Whoa. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. And then she was elected to, like, city council in... Uh, oh, she's uh, a politician now? That's I, cool. I, I th I don't, in 2015, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce this place, James. I'm not the C. Just uh, Funabashi. Yeah, she was elected to city council of, of that city. I was that's like, what? cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we got a pre-tape here. Tough Enough Challenge was last week. Woo! Ooh, million dollar Tough Enough. Don't you... Don't you forget Getting about that. away with murder. I can't <laughs> yeah, believe this wasn't <laughs> dubbed. <laughs> yeah, me neither. What the fuck? Getting, getting away, getting, getting away, away, getting away. Official Jerry theme Hart. song for Tough Enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, speaking of the million dollar contract, did you guys know that that contract was totally bullshit? Yeah, it was like, well, it's it's quarter. Is it a million or is it a quarter of a million? No, it was a million dollars, but it was right. paid over like 10 years and you had to stay with the WWE and all this shit to and get paid off a million dollars. I mean, yeah, spoilers. Yeah, like immediately, I think, spoilers, right? Spoilers, Daniel yeah. Pewter wins this fucking thing, and I don't think he... Does I he ever he does. lose a challenge? Uh, I actually don't know. That's a good question, I, I, but probably I not. I think he won all the challenges. He they were all did. shoot challenges, though. They were like yeah. legit shoot challenges. On what, him uh, him. what happened with, like... Like, okay, so this is the season of, for those who know, Tough Enough 2004. It wasn't like its own show. It was just segments on SmackDown. No, it was its own show, too. I don't think it was. I swear it, it was had its own show. No, and... it was it was only a SmackDown Are thing. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, okay. I love me some Tough Enough. Uh, but, uh, so they, last week they did the Grab the Flag Challenge against the Basham Brothers. This is the season that has the Miz on it and Ryback and, of course, Daniel Pewter, who fucking wins. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't, so, like, Daniel Pewter, like, wins and then, like, he like is in the rumble and then everyone whoops his ass and then Benoit, he gets, uh, uh Bob Benoit, Holly. Bob and Eddie, I think. Yeah, Eddie. Uh, yeah, Eddie too. Uh and then he's released in September of 05. Uh so I don't know how much money he actually got from that or not. The shooting any. on Kurt Angle thing is what did him in. 
Oh, well, him almost snapping Angle's fucking arm? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what did him in. That, <laughs> I think you probably would have been fine otherwise, but that's... Maybe. Because at the time, yeah. I mean, Angle's was trying to get a gimmick over. And, and like, it, we see the gimmick later on in the evening with the Invitational. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I mean, he did what he was asked to do. He said he it was. Did, yeah. They said it was a shoot, and yeah. he fucking did a shoot. So he was like, old, hey, that's just, you know, he did what UFC he did. was getting real fucking hot around that time too, and not that he was in UFC, but it was like obviously MMA gimmick, and he was over. Sure. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. They actually mentioned UFC on TV, which like was Cole cool mentions it, and he says, "Ah, oh, he's a UFC fighter or something." Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a, there's, there's, there's a, okay. UFC chants in the crowd and stuff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and they actually acknowledge it. They acknowledge the crowd i was like what the fuck they chant ufc and go, oh yeah he, you know what he was in the ufc yeah. he was a ufc yeah, fighter, so I, was, like, I couldn't believe it either i was like what vince wow. let them do that it's different man yeah it's way i guess well, ufc just wasn't as big of a competition then i guess i mean even later on you know like they were chanting ecw though. and big show was like yeah man i'm fucking we'll bring that back yeah buy the dvd <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah so this pre-tape shows the the capture the flag challenge they had to do with the bastions everyone failed no one got the flag uh, and then apparently the Bastion Brothers won. I don't know what they won, but they won. They win. Uh, they win. <laughs> so you have to, Congratulations. It was basically you had to run past both Bastions and grab the flag. That was yes. the challenge. Ryback and almost did it and Pewter almost did it. And then... Ryback, Pewter, The Miz was there. I don't know anybody else that was <laughs> The Miz was there. That's fucking true. It shows everyone walking backstage with Al Snow after this. Getting away. Getting away. Uh, and then there is a away, Thanksgiving bumper. Away. Oh with no, bro! Two turkeys <laughs> on bro, a beach. The turkeys. <laughs> the, the turkeys. The, tur the turkeys. So there's two turkeys. There's one turkey just hanging out, and the other one is, of course, a Carlito turkey with an afro. <laughs> and Beast. the Carlito turkey eats an apple and it spits it into the face of the other turkey. This fucking poor other turkey just taking so much heat on this show. Trash what cans. Hell? Spit with apples. Leave the damn turkeys alone. So we get the Tough Enough Town Hall right after this. Dun, dun, getting dun, away. Dun, getting away. Still not dumb. Getting they away, play this a lot. Away. Yeah, it's they getting, getting your away, fucking knowledge out of it. Uh, apparently, Ryback broke two ribs in the Capture the Flag Challenge last week. You want to quit, you Whoa. pussy, or no? I was like, so what are you doing? <laughs> Ryback said, let's ask the crowd. Should I stay? Should I quit? Or should I retire? <laughs> retire. <laughs> no, he does damn. not do Let us try that <laughs> one more time. <laughs> no, There's Ryback... A multiple letter sign spelling out pewter in the crowd, which is like, you're getting signs like that brought to a show. Already, you know, yeah. Doing all right. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, Al Snow said, after last week's competition, you suffered two broken ribs, Ryan Reeves, and I'm required to ask you, do you want to quit? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Let him fucking not gonna, stay not gonna get Not going to get a doctor out here. I'm just going to ask you. You want to quit, son? <laughs> <laughs> you're not cleared. Or you'll push maybe you right back. Yeah. You'll push you, son. <laughs> You know what a finish is or not? Do you want to finish? You never made money, you... son. <laughs> Reeves says, I call myself Silverback because I'm the leader of the pack and leaders don't quit and neither do I. All right. And yeah, right back. Why you say that? <laughs> Why you say that? I don't know. I'm a Silverback Gorilla talk. and Silverback Gorillas do not quit. What does that mean? No, yeah, bro. Don't quit, bro. And door, while he's talking, the Miz is just mocking him too. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Miz is <laughs> hamming it up the whole time, yeah, man. It's sweet. Um, so then there's no theatrics, no drama, no build up. Al Snow just says, Daniel Rodheimer, can you get the hell out of the ring? Get out of here. <laughs> just get out. Anyway, Daniel Rodheimer, you're eliminated. Get That's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you never drew any money and you never are. So get out of the ring. Right, what damn. did he end up doing? Is he I think he's a politician now too. Oh, oh really? okay. Yeah, I think Jody hates him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Which, so if Jody hates him, I hate him oh, too. Like, a, <laughs> like in Las Vegas, like the the I think yeah, Nevada maybe. area. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's he announced he he bid on the on Nevada's third congressional district and he lost. And then 2021, he announced his candidacy for Texas six congressional district special uh, election. I don't know if he won or not though. No, oh, you you've, been, you've been eliminated. Okay, Sorry, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, you've been eliminated. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, so Al Snow gets Daniel Rodheimer out of the ring, and uh, they move on. So <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> this week, the challenge is between the contestants, and it is an arm wrestling contest. Taz says, that's cool. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Thank you, Taz. They I'm really it. They're trying mm -hmm. to sell this. I was like, damn, yeah. I, I can't believe they, they do this a lot. There's a lot of talk about on the show. 
I was actually horrified of this. Also, they said, uh, Miz, uh, we know you're left-handed, but, uh, go fuck yourself. You have to use your right hand. Yeah, what, what? the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? What is that like, yeah, Okay, whatever. They do the, like, they, it's Pewter and, uh, Miz and then Reeves and Justice Smith. And I'm like, these guys are going to snap their fucking wrists oh doing God, this. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard. Like, full bending of the wrist, like, no control. Like, I was like, It was scary. Is, yeah. Yeah, they're going to snap a fucking wrist here. And, uh... Fuck, uh, was it Pewter? No, or was it Reeves? It was yeah, Reeves. Ryback's wrist was like. He also back. uses his entire body weight here. Like, I'm like, oh my Which god. Which is completely legal, they say. But, yeah, that's what they. I'm like, how is that legal? <laughs> that make eliminated. Any sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Miz and Pewter was the first one. Uh, Miz is, of course, required to use his right hand because fuck you. Miz. Spits in his hand, oh, and then, and then, <laughs> then the referee says, "Fucking wipe that off." What are you doing, you fucking asshole? <laughs> Nasty as hell, man. Yeah. Uh, this is here UFC, where the UFC, yeah, the UFC yeah, chant is good. Yes, UFC chant, and Mud Cole says, "Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah UFC, yeah, yeah, that's like the UFC, yeah, 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 Pewter wins very easily, uh, and then he beat Ryan the Reeves. fuck out of the Miz, man. The Miz didn't even like fight back, but he's no, left handed, dude. He, he's yeah. left handed. Come on, bro, his hand, yeah. bro. They, they hand. fucking kayfabed him. He's definitely right handed. <laughs> <laughs> they just knew he's gonna get shit on. Yeah, yeah he <laughs> kayfabed. It. Uh, then Ryan Reeves and Justice Smith is up next. Justice Smith's a big motherfucker, by the way. I don't know yes. where. Where's he? I gotta look that up now too. Like where? Did, I don't know. Yeah, politician where, where's, in Nevada. Where, where's <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Jody hates him. Justice Smith. Jo Jody hates Justice Smith as well. <laughs> Damn, Jody. You are eliminated. All the fucking heat. <laughs> uh, Smith wrestled in a WXW Rage TV taping for World Extreme Wrestling, which I think is the, the Wild Samoans fed. 2006. Oh, okay. And then he was on American Gladiators in 2008. Uh, and he's an actor now, it seems. He oh, was okay. on such shows as The Gilmore Girls. Blood oh, and good Bone. Show. Good show. Good show. And yeah. NCIS, Los Angeles, and Thor he was in, supposedly. The movie. Whoa. Or the, is there a show? Oh, God. Let's just say it's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Ryan Reeves wins, by the way. Fuck you, Justice Smith. And Jody hates you. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 this was a horrible idea to do live. There's no heat. It's just awkward. You guys are about to break the wrist. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, this whole thing, I was like, That's damn, how all bro. the challenge. Every challenge was like this. Everybody I heard, yeah. there was no heat. It was just so, yeah. no direction to these guys either. Like, they're just no, out there, whatever. Just like, dudes. Yeah, just hanging out. Yeah, which one of these fucking pussies you want to vote for? <laughs> <laughs> vote for me, uh, Al Snow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in a match. Al Snow looked absurd here, too, with his fucking shoes. <laughs> he did look yourself. absurd. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Reeves won that one, and then they did Pewter versus Reeves, but before they did that, they interviewed Justice Smith and The Miz, and who had both of them had very nothing to oh, say. Really? There was no reason to talk to these fucking guys. And then uh, Pewter beats Reeves in his two broken ribs. <laughs> Yo, speaking of having nothing to say later on, bro. Oh, God. They really ain't got oh, nothing they to are, say. They really are awful. Vince saw the segment and said, send him back out. I don't want anyone to like him. <laughs> Keep burying him. Did Give you him say some UFC? <laughs> <laughs> um, so this segment was, yeah, like you said, guys breaking their wrists. I was like, uh, you know, if you're if Ryback had shoot broken two ribs in that fucking <laughs> and then snapped his wrist, <laughs> yeah, just oh fuck, man. That's and then wrong. next week, next week he's out there two broken ribs, and fucking in a sling. So do you want to quit? <laughs> <laughs> As the silverback gorilla once said, no. <laughs> I talked to my Silverback family, and they said, you better not quit. He had Silverback merch. He had Silverback and Times New Roman on the back of his shirt. He had Silverback on the beanie. <laughs> what a beast. Dude, he, he got fucked so hard, because he was even in the NXT season as well. Hell yeah. With Ryan Reeves, and he Corn was... Corn-fed meathead, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was I'm not a, he I'm not a Silverback. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a silverback anymore. I'm a horse or something. <laughs> yeah, two broken ribs then too, bro. I mean. For life. Oh, he got the Matt Jackson broken ribs. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, it shows a graphic for the no. Pilgrims versus the Indians match, which is yeah. between Jackie Gata and John and Don Marie. Yeah, why? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, 
For Kenzo Suzuki. <laughs> of course, anyway. Fucking turkey. No! Smash with the trash can! No! I would like to take a second really quick. Just just real quick. Um, yes. mm-hmm. I'd like to give a very big shout out to both Jackie Gata and Don Marie. So I just well, that's... I mean, that's... Just let everybody know. James, I, that... Not only... Is that to the top? I'd have to say that's at the top. Oh, uh, Jackie Gata and TNA also. The very big shout out to Jackie Gata. And oh, TNA. absolutely. That was, uh, that's oh, at the top. Yeah, different era. True. That was yeah. That's that was true. to the top. That's, that's, that's fucking that's true. Extremely to the top. Uh, we go backstage. Eddie is hanging out backstage. Uh, <laughs> oh, just chilling. Book. <laughs> Booker comes up and says he has unfinished business with JBL and the crew. <laughs> Booker walks in and he says, Oh, that LA book. Booker looks at him all angry. What's the deal, man? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Booker's actually up. fantastic. At the, they're actually, both of them are really Booker's good. Booker's always here. fantastic. He's yeah, great. Booker really kills everything he ever does. Um, Eddie says that he also has history with JBL, of course. Um, of course. Have they had the Judgment Day match yet? I'm guessing they did. I think so, right? Because that would have been. It's the end of the year, so I assume. Yeah, I think so. Um, unless Judgment Day was 2005, but I'm pretty sure. Um, they've already had it because it is he, 04. It yeah, okay. is uh, May 04. So, yeah, this is a while okay. after. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, well, that stays with you. <laughs> that yeah, I mean, spot. yeah, that canvas, uh, you don't forget that one. Yeah, no. So, JBL has uh, what was her official title? Do you have her official title? She is the uh, image consultant. Is that what it is? The yes, image that's consultant. what it is. Her name yes. is Mimi Weber. No, <laughs> is that close? Amy Mimi. <laughs> 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 I she said me, me. Well, right here, Jody the wrestler hates her. <laughs> she was a Las Vegas politician. <laughs> she, well, because she was a part of his cabinet, and he just can't <laughs> can't take that. Uh, Mimi, Mimi Weber, her fiend like Yeah, I must ego. have watched another show. <laughs> Mimi Weber walks in. I'm gonna let you try that one more. Time. Okay, all right, let me try. She that released one more an time. album too. Mimi Weber walked in. No. Amy. <laughs> Amy Weber. What the hell is that? <laughs> James, it's a meme. It's not me. <laughs> Mimi Weber <laughs> walked in the it's damn meme. room. <laughs> Mimi Weber walked in the room. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I don't know what name you all said now. I just Amy. Amy, Amy, Amy Weber walks in the room. Me and Eddie says, "Mimi Sita." I said, "Oh my gosh, that's her name!" I, said, I can't believe it. No, Mimi. First, so she was Mimi, saved by the Bell in 1992. Of course, she was as Mimi Weber. She's she was a Pacific re- Blue reprising as well. the role here. Yes, <laughs> Mimi Weber, image consultant, tries yes. to touch Booker T. And Booker Get your T hands says, off me. Your hands <laughs> off me. <laughs> I love the stark difference. Get your hands off me. Eddie is in love with this girl. Looking at her booba. And Booker just said, Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Booker was down. We was down at the beginning. She came in. They're both like, Oh, shit. Yeah, and thought her name was Mimi. Turns out it's Amy. Not- He's like, Get off me. <laughs> She said, I can do a lot for you. She goes to touch Booker. Get your hands off me. <laughs> Somehow Mimi knows the WWE no, Mimi. book. Mimi. Mimi. Who is this? <laughs> it's not like a weird name. It's Amy. <laughs> A-M-Y. It's not hard. <laughs> Amy. Mimi. Amy. Well, that's why we have to get through this for she changed her name again. <laughs> All right. Mimi says it's a shame. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I can't. I wrote down Mimi <laughs> for the whole segment. I cannot stop it's it. Mimi. I wrote down Mimi. I wrote down everything on this segment. Fuck. Just say You're a stupid bastard. <laughs> no words on it. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> Amy says thank you thank you it's a shame it is that you guys are opponents of Armageddon yes and Booker says I know because I'm gonna win and yes. he says I'm gonna fucking win yes. and Booker says no I'm gonna win I said and he says you're oh gonna win God. Booker says who else and he says what about me <laughs> Eddie then says Booker is the five time WCW champion yes but he ain't gonna win the big one here and he ain't ever won the big one here you think oh, that hurt Eddie shit. to say yeah. You uh, think that was like probably did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Booker he should alive. have. Booker he said you haven't been that. able to win the big one here, and Booker says, "Oh, okay." It's like that. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That was a shoot. Damn. He said, "You know something? When I do win the championship, I ain't gonna go loco and blame it on my family." And Eddie looks at him and says, "Family? Oh, we're gonna go there." <laughs> and then Mimi and reminds them that Andy Undertaker. <laughs> 
Who? <laughs> me, me reminds them hey, that the under me. look. We're almost done here. We're almost done, and <laughs> I only have one name right line we'll here. Me, we'll me, just say her name. Me, me. Yes. Reminds them that the Undertaker is also in this match. How did they forget that? How? Is she so dialed into the WWE booking? <laughs> well, everyone watches consultant. WWE at this time, James. WWE is getting 2.7. 2.7 rating. <laughs> she ain't watching this. Nobody's watching this. Mimi ain't watching this. Amy definitely ain't watching this. And ain't a million other people watching this either. So, fuck all y'all. Ain't nobody watching this. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> she was the image consultant. That's how she knew. Yeah, of course. <sighs> and she's out of here. She just books it out the room. And she's done. Yeah. She's uh, gone. Of course, they get later on in the main event, they tag up. Um, yes. It cuts to Joy Giovanni. She is smelling deviled eggs again. She's touching and smelling food. <laughs> she's touching ass. the food. She puts her finger in food, I think. Yeah, get the time. fuck out of here, Joy Giovanni, with your finger in your ass. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? Stop smelling my food, you freak. Taz says, oh, you got some yams there. Taz, don't fucking encourage this shit, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Taz, yeah, you put the finger in the yams, brother. Yeah, you, <laughs> you smell that yams. Yeah, yeah, going on smell this. Smell this. Taz, Taz is a big yam guy. He likes the yam bags. Love the yams. The yam bags. Freak. Uh, all right. So Bumper then plays again. No, of a turkey. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. So what did the turkey do this time? So the turkey comes to the ring <laughs> in a limo. <laughs> the turkey is standing up uh, in the sunroof of this limo and has cowboy. Oh, this JBL is a turkey, is really what it is. This is a big cowboy turkey we saw him in. <laughs> yeah, the Abdul of the turkey. Is <laughs> Abdul of the turkey, yes. So there's JBL as a turkey celebrating in a limo, just waving to people. And then the fucking, what is, uh, what's it called? The, is this a boom camera? Is that what that the you boom, would describe? The boom, the jib cam, the boom cam. Jib cam, yeah. yeah. It just swings and smashes in his fucking head and kills him. Sorry, that never happened again. <laughs> what the fuck? What more? What other ones do you think they could have done of this of this turkey? What other they favorite? symbolized it? They should have symbolized. They should have symbolized the turkey. I agree. They should have set him on fire. Like they would have kick started AEW a long time ago. So like that would have been pretty awesome. Stone Cold giving the turkey a stunner as a turkey. Oh hell yeah, that would have been cool. Think yeah, that Sally, been you ain't here no more right now. Rikishi as a turkey hitting Stone Cold turkey with a car. <laughs> I'm slapping the turkey ass. Rikishi style. No. No. You, don't you, eat. Wait, what? Did you just did you replay that one? He slapped the turkey up his ass. Is that no, what you said? The turkey slapping his ass like oh, Rikishi style. The turkey's got cheeks. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Rikishi turkey. Yeah. Not yeah. Rikishi put a turkey up his ass. No. I know what you said. Yeah, honestly. we're gonna have a segment. Rikishi's gonna come out here and put a turkey in his ass. <laughs> As it is, okay. Troops. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> USA. Michael Cole says John Cena is pissing blood backstage, probably. <laughs> I was very Black Rose. I was John, very John Cena is <laughs> urinating blood after getting hit with a chain by a Jesus. So the angle here originally was that Carlito and Jesus stabbed John Cena at a nightclub. Allegedly. Allegedly stabbed John Cena at the nightclub. Yes. That, do they call it a nightclub or they call it an after hours club? Yeah, I think they I think say they, after hours yeah, club. Yeah, probably yeah. after hours club. Whatever this, that of is. course, if you're not familiar with Jesus, uh, if you if you uh, listen to our All Wheels Wrestling review, this is the Human Cyclone, <laughs> Aaron Aguilera. <laughs> awesome, Aaron. Aaron. awesome, Austin Aguilera. Yes. Yes. Aaron the Aaron fucking beast. Amazing. This guy. <laughs> uh, so pre-tape, Carlito goes to Teddy and says, "Hey man, I probably can't wrestle because I am injured and my arm is fucked up, and I need four to six weeks to recover." Well, Teddy says, Are, "Have you ever considered talking to the Silverback family?" <laughs> <laughs> That's for true. <laughs> Sorry, brother. That doesn't work here. We got Ryan no, Rose with two fucking no broken ribs. time off. <laughs> John Go Cena ahead. then proceeds to have the match with Carlito. Yes. And he beats the dog shit out of Carlito. Dog and walks yes. him for real, yeah. Even hits him with the, his arm on the turnbuckle post with, with the, the chair. chair. Yeah. Hits the F you on Carlito, and he just straight up wins. Just straight up wins the U.S. Yeah, title. Yeah, fuck you. I win, and Oof. you suck, and that's it. You and your so, hurt arm. Jesus then ends up attacking Cena after the match, grabs Cena's chain, and then hits him in the kidney. Oh, yes. the same way. he was stabbed. Yeah, Tony. We're like, yeah, we're in the same spot he was stabbed at. Did this ever? Did they ever say anything else about this ever? 
No. Was he actually stabbed or was it just always allegedly? Uh, no, I he think, was, well, he, he was really, like, in in, K, in the angle, he was actually stabbed. It is just allegedly Carl, you who did it. They yes. didn't know who did it. It was supposed to be New Jack, though. That was, yeah, New Jack says it was pitched to him that he was going to stab John Cena. <laughs> That would have been that. awesome. I, that would have been Jack and Carlito. That would have been fantastic. Jack and Carlito. <laughs> that would have been the greatest angle ever. Here's here's Carlito and New Jesus. <laughs> New Jack and the Jesus pants and the fucking yeah, 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 the suspenders. New Jesus. Yeah, the suspenders. <laughs> New Jesus with the suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awesome yeah, that'd as be a sweet. turkey too that'd be sweet yeah of course yeah. it would be why Jack do you put the turkey, turkey in, the, in the pants and the suspenders <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck do you say that alright so backstage segment here uh, Carlito and Jesus are backstage as Cole tries to talk to them uh, through commentary which is yeah. crazy which is, oh, oh I, one thing I wanted to know about that last segment when they were showing the recap of the Jesus Cena stuff the end of it is like when Cena is getting like Cared to? It's like playing Undertaker's like druid music. <laughs> it is, yeah. Dude, but I love the old like mid two thousands way of them doing shit. Wherever yeah, they hit too. somebody, you're like, boosh. Yeah, damn, bro. You can just be like fucking killed him. Oh my like god, movie. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. The presentation yeah, like here too. was fantastic. Yeah. Um, Carlito and Jesus are backstage. Cole says, "What's up?" So Carlito <laughs> says. <laughs> <laughs> Cole's on commentary answer. still, by the way. Yeah, they're they're so. not near each other yet. Cole, as James said, Cole is trying to talk to him from the announce table to the backstage area, which is kind of just awkward. I think this was just, yeah. I think this was just Cole asking, and then there was just pre taped shit, and they're just like waiting yeah. it out because they kept cutting in between. So See, I think I it was just B roll. I thought that too. Uh, maybe and maybe that is what it is because later on Cole asks him something else, and Carlito looks around very confused, like what? Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, Cole goes, "Hey Zeus." Jesus, 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 yeah, and he he Jesus, Jesus, and Carlito's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate sure what it was. Yeah. Uh, right. Carlito says, Cena is a thug. And Carlito says he got exactly what he deserved, which was pissing blood backstage or something. This is a sweet line. He said, Cena, wherever you are, if you could stop bleeding for a second and listen to what I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Stop Carl bleeding for a second. Carlito says he stole his title, but he stole something of his, which is Whoa. John Cena's chain. Oh shit! So the John Cena gang. has not completely, I guess, no. 2005, right? Or is it six that he starts? When he, he beats he JBL this. is kind of when I see him make the. Change. When does he get yeah. the hat? <laughs> the, hat. <laughs> the, the camo hat. Whenever he gets the camo hat, that's. It's, he's I fine. think it's probably after this because he that that WrestleMania that he beats JBL is kind of when I. Like was it twenty two? Is that what it was or twenty one? One of those. So anyway. and that was oh five. So it's coming up. So it's pretty soon. Yeah, James. Yeah. Okay. So he has John Cena's chain for now. Uh, Carlito says, "Hey Zeus, uh, he, I'm going to give you John Cena's chain as a thank you for taking him out last week." Yeah. Ooh. Um. Hey Zeus. Then. Hey Zeus. I can't hey, believe Zeus. he. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> one minute, huh? Hey Zeus. Sorry. One minute. I just need one minute. Hey Zeus. What is this me? Hey Zeus says, hey, Zeus only, pizza guy. <laughs> bro, I, I couldn't believe they have him cut a promo here because I thought I always thought like Carlito was the guy that always talked, but I guess they gave him mm -hmm. some time here. I guess they're really I can't to imagine out. he does many more. Yeah, me neither. Hey Zeus, uh, you know, a lot of these guys actually got released in 2005. I guess after like budget cuts or something, like Suzuki's not here anymore. A lot of these guys end up getting released. Yeah, uh, these yeah. Yeah. guys. He, he, uh, he gets released in April of 05. Yeah. 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 There's a couple cuts in between there. Um, Jesus says that he did to Cena what Cena would have done to him. And then I was like, what the fuck? Would Cena stab him in a nightclub? And I'm like, oh, you're talking about the chain thing. <laughs> that would have been awesome, honestly. Yeah, yeah he should have. Cena should have came out on Twitter. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's got the fucking switch. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus says that he just received his wrestling license. I couldn't believe that. I I, I kind of loved it though. At the same time, I I always liked that. Like, uh, this guy wasn't a wrestler. Now he's a wrestler. Now he's he can fight. I kind of like that. The yeah, wrestling cool. license. The wrestler. Yeah, license, I mean, it's course, interesting. Yeah. If you have a story for it, sure, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Jesus challenges Cena to a match anywhere, and then Jesus says payback is a. 
<laughs> and it cuts out. <laughs> it cuts to the commentators when he says bitch. Cole says, whoa. whoa. And then it cuts back to Carlito spitting an apple into the camera. God, he fucking just... Oh my god, that was so much spit. It was gross. Yeah. Wow, man. Get real sloppy with it. You yeah, get take another bite. <laughs> Michael Cole says, whoa. And then it, you know what it cuts to next? Rob. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> awesome. So Ray Mysterio meets up with R V D backstage. They are currently Yo. a tag team. RVD, hey. Good match, dude. <laughs> Ray says, You ready for tonight? And RVD says, Dude, come on. <laughs> I love Rob and then Ray says something to him in Spanish and ends it with Kenzo Suzuki. And R- and Rob says, Yeah, it's a great idea. Get your kid a motorcycle for Christmas. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up, man. God damn it. Ray says, fucking be serious, bro. And Arby says, soy serioso. <laughs> Where are we doing this? <laughs> He's not as bad as well as soy serioso. I, you know what's funny is I remember this tag team a lot. And yes. I think it's specifically because of their finisher together. The, the yeah. 420 leg like, drop. The 420 leg like, yes. drop. Yes. That's yeah. RVD's. Ray says, we hit him with the 420. And RVD says, yeah, we did. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so RVD will face off against Kenzo Suzuki in a minute here. Yeah. And then as um, the ending, RVD says, este noche, este noche. <laughs> Ray said, you said it best, brother. Amen to that. <laughs> uh, SmackDown is brought to you by the following, uh, which might be an all-star lineup here. This is Subway, crazy. Nintendo. Who are you? And Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, two-set DVD <laughs> available now. Oh, yeah. It's finally become wrestling canon, and we can watch it now. Oh, you're right. Oh, now we can watch God. the two-set no, DVD of Billy no, Madison, no, Happy what the Gilmore. Hell? Hey, you want to see me watch the two-set? Give me a hell yeah. No, I'm not giving you, I'm not, no, I'm not giving you a hell yeah. That doesn't make any sense. You don't like I Billy mean, Madison? So no I Billy love Madison. Billy Madison. And so no I'll Veronica be- Vaughn. I love Veronica Vaughn. Billy she Madison has a hot piece of blob. Bro. That's wrestling too. Revolting blob. Revolting. The blob. revolting blob. He killed Shame. a man. Revolting he killed blob. a man. Revolting that's blob wrestling. is canon. Oh wow, that's, that's a lot to think about. Just revolting you know, blob in the back confirmed for January eighth. <laughs> <laughs> we get the revolting blob. That'd be out of control, man. Oh yeah, keep that. If you guys are listening in your mind, no, don't. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, two set Forget DVD. It. Editor, edit this out, right? DVD. Whoa, <laughs> edit this out, editor. Yeah, it was the two set DVD. I said, whoa, back to back hits. That's what's up. Baby. I remember buying that too back in the day. I had that. That's the oh, shit. That awesome. Yeah, I got right next to the too. Rise and Fall of ECW. Yeah, it was for real right on my show. <laughs> that and Pulp Fiction probably. Everyone had the DVD. Fight Club. That's true. true. RVD versus Kinzo Suzuki. Is up With Hiroko. Uh, yes, Hiroko is out here. And uh, well, that's going to lead into an angle here in a minute. But first, we got RVD and Kinzo. And of course. Kenzo Suzuki is from the land of the rising sun. That's, uh, yeah, course. we couldn't figure out exactly where. Uh, <laughs> that's just somewhere. That whole spot over there, that's where you're, <laughs> you're fucking from. RVD yeah. from the United States of America. <laughs> they, they probably gave RVD street address. That's how much they knew about RVD. Kenzo from the other side of the country. He is from Of Japan. the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Kenzo uh, RVD's is, gear is awesome here, by the way. It is. It's fucking sweet. The green, I really like that a lot. It looks great. Yeah, it, it popped really nice. Uh, Kenzo's in great shape too. It looks fantastic. He's big, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it shows um, Rob and Mysterio hitting the 420 leg drop on yes. Kenzo Suzuki. Oh, I believe last week. <laughs> yes. Was it last week? It Is was it, last it, week. It, okay, they said it broke his nose. It did. Well, they they sh- and he, his shit was busted open too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I was wondering if it was really last week. Can you explain the 420 leg drop to those that may not understand why that's fun? <laughs> you know what's funny about this is that. I never knew they broke it down on television. I always just thought it was a um, tongue in cheek kind of thing. Dirt sheet thing. I always yeah. thought it was like a. Uh, oh, you didn't think they actually called it that? No, no, no. I knew they called it that. I thought the explanation was like a like one of those things you hear in like a RF video or something. Like okay, yeah, it was yeah. like, like yeah, Rob's yeah. RVD. I had to yeah. explain it to Vince or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. I think it was like a, a shoot or something. RVD was like, hey, you know, I tell Vince, you know, four legs and. Our shoe size <laughs> so, combined. So 20. Taz, Taz actually breaks it down. 
He says, this is, it's called the 420 leg drop because there are four legs. Two and two makes four and 20 (laughs) because eight and 12 always makes 20 combined. 20 shoe size, 420. (laughs) (laughs) That is the 420 leg drop. And I'm pretty sure the story is that Vince said, is this a, is this a drug reference? And Rob, no, dude. (laughs) No, it's shoes. Legs. (laughs) I got legs. You got legs. You get it. And Vince said, okay. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Like, I was. It's fucking crazy. Okay. I, there's no way Vince didn't know that that was a weed thing. I think he just liked that RVD had the balls to lie to him. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Probably. You're probably right, actually. Yeah. So RVD and Mysterio broke Suzuki's nose last week. So RVD tries his hardest here to break his nose again. Oh, my God. Dude, that spin kick that he hit Suzuki with at the start, I swore shattered his shit open again. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Didn't put no hands up. Just took it straight up. So maybe yeah. Karen Angle was right the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe fuck you, Rob. Right. You bitch. <laughs> uh, Kenzo then fires back. Huge Larry in the corner. Rob takes a mean bump on that one. Yes. Um, RVD that looked the... really good. It was like right next to the corner, too. It looked like he was going for it in the corner, and then RVD walked out. <laughs> well, shit, it took sorry. it even worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, RVD hits Rolling Thunder. Rob then goes up for the five star, but Hiroko gets up into the ring and begs yep. him not to hit the five star. That Rolling Thunder was kind of weird, too. Kenzo was not... It wasn't like how you typically would think of the Rolling Thunder like lined up. It was like RVD had to roll like crooked <laughs> to, to, to hit this fucking yeah. thing. It looked cool, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, RVD was definitely like priming now at this point. Like You're starting to really like... Yeah. He, was, he was already super over before, but now he's like, he's become that top guy at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Hiroko um, got in and uh, she begged him not to hit Kenzo with that five star because she knew that shit would die. Over. Well, but, Kenzo and, then yes. chokes Rob Van Dam with a sash and gets. She gave him it, the sash, like secretly gave it behind the referee's back. So I was like, oh, okay, they're going to do something here. But Kenzo, Kenzo just chokes him right in front of the referee. <laughs> <laughs> didn't understand that part. <laughs> He doesn't t- understand subtlety. <laughs> not even a little bit. I think we find that out a little bit later, too, in this match. Uh, also, they do not say Hiroko's name right a single time this Hiroku. entire night. Hiroku, Hiroku they say. Yeah. Name. I don't know where it's they got her name. <laughs> I don't know. Ishii. Um, Tori then gets in. <laughs> not Ishii, bro. Please. <laughs> Tori then gets in to announce the winner, and Hiroko then pie faces her because. Why? Kenzo liked her boobies. So I thought in my, cause I, I mean, I remember that segment, but Tori announces that RVD won by DQ and that seemed to be what set Hiroko off. Like that, it was Tori that decided it. I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> There's heat, brother. They got heat. So they end up cat fighting and then Kenzo pulls Tori off into the corner. <laughs> then Kenzo puckers his lips and gyrates his hips. And then RVD <laughs> kicks the dog shit out of he him. He does. Kenzo God does damn. the grind. <laughs> Also, during the match, by the way, Taz was... I, I don't know if Taz was just tapped out at this point or he was hungry. He just <laughs> There was a lot of Taz saying things in this fucking match. He was promised a plate, and he said he wants it now. <laughs> so, Cole, uh, earlier on when he got Suzuki got fucking kicked in his face, Cole said, soon Suzuki is going to look like Michael Jackson. And Taz says, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And Cole, says, <laughs> Cole says, yeah, well, his nose is all messed up. Like, you had to explain the joke. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I get it. No, go on. Then, uh... <laughs> When RVD did his crotch on the top rope, Taz says, well, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. He landed on his yams, of course. Yeah, bang, How many bang. yam references? I should have <laughs> wrote that down. Yam counter. <laughs> yam counter. <laughs> There's a lot of yam talk here. Taz then asks, uh, do they celebrate Thanksgiving over in Tokyo? That's how he says it. <laughs> Quasar Cole, too or something. Cole says, well, no. <laughs> And Taz keeps talking. He keeps trying to ask about Japan Thanksgiving, and he kind of fades out of that. And he comes back randomly and says, don't Japan have Kwanzaa? And Cole says, no, not in Japan. <laughs> Taz says, well, I'm confused. And Cole's like, course. yeah, they got Thanksgiving. They got like another day or whatever. He said, well, they what about Kwanzaa? Thanks. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> And then Taz says, I'm hungry. <laughs> Cole says, you ate three turkeys today. And Taz says, yeah, well, I'm sitting next to one. <laughs> that was good. I like that. Yeah, so a lot of lot of Taz there. And then, yeah, Hiroko and Tori fighting and shit already makes a save against the pervert. <laughs> yeah, so this ends up going, like I said, the kimono match. And uh, then they're released in 2005. So. Yeah, Kenzo is released that year as well as everyone else is. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gone. So it's crazy how many people from that time that I remember were released in 2005. That's like so weird. Big I didn't drop off. Crazy. Yeah. 
Uh, Joy Giovanni now has pies. Fuck. fuck, and she's touching them and smelling them and shit. Get the fuck Touch out of here. All the pies. Put your fingers in the pies and licking it. You ever see Scary Me too, where he puts his good hand in all the fucking food? Deb like, mm, said the same this. exact thing. <laughs> Did she really? Yeah. <laughs> That's she's thought about she, this the same way she asked it to. She said, you remember the Scary Me with the dude with the hand? <laughs> <laughs> That movie kicks ass. That movie is pretty oh, sweet. That's a good movie. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, your finger looking good. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Does he oh, stick his man. hand in someone's mouth with food oh. on it? Can't remember. Yeah. 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 yeah, he does. They do the spot where he has to save him with his fucking hand. They don't want to grab him. the window. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> he grabbed my hand. No, I touched that shit. <laughs> One of, the best, one of the best fucking parts of the movie was like right after that when the skeleton chasing down the hallway is this fucking CGI <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. The big fucking <laughs> This I bag of bones. I this forgot about the CGI skeleton. I gotta rewatch that now. Yeah, that me too. That's ass. SGH tomorrow oh, night. Oh, hell yeah. Remember that too. Oh, yeah. yeah, right there. This is going to be hell yeah. <laughs> uh, there is now a Thanksgiving bumper. Uh, a very special one. Oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> this is, of course, Heidenreich turkey. This Heidenreich turkey is fucked up, man. <laughs> it's storming out to the ring, then it goes up to the camera and starts smashing its stupid little fucking head into the camera. I love how they have a storyline right now of Heidenreich being mentally Cr unstable. <laughs> and they're like, okay, thanks, give him bumper. Don't make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. Turkey, Heidenreich. Make him a turkey. Get that Heidenreich turkey. Freeze him, dude. <laughs> Get a big chocolate bar. Yeah. Dude, big chocolate bar Heinrich, was fucking crazy. How did that, is that after this? I think so. It's I think gotta so. be. Anyone doesn't know. I, I don't know when we're going to get a chance to talk. I don't know how many of those we'll see. But eventually, John Heinrich goes away. It might be here. And he comes back as fucking... I don't know what, like, is, is it just he's, like, stupid? Is he that had what to be is? a big child, I think, is what it Maybe was, Maybe that's right? what it was, yeah. I'm yeah, trying like to... He, he reverted to a childlike state or something, and, like, he yeah. was a big candy guy. Or maybe he's just a big candy guy. Maybe big maybe candy guy. Big, he big would come to the ring with a gigantic candy. Hershey bar with chocolate all over his mouth. He also was in the Legion of Doom at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think this would be like a shit was fucking crazy <laughs> in 2005. <laughs> yeah, the dude from Hey Arnold gimmick. You remember that kid? The oh my god! <laughs> what was his name? What was his I name? I don't know. I don't remember that guy's name. Oh my god. <laughs> Look it up. Ch hey Arnold was Chocolate this, Bar this guy. This says his name was Chocolate Boy, but I don't know if that's <laughs> right. <laughs> That can't be right. Chocolate Boy, it was. His character. That's right. a, it's on the hair oh, on the wiki. God. Chocolate Boy. That's Heidi Reich. In the episode, Gerald's tonsils are to reveal that Chocolate Boy plays the tuba. Just in case you want to know that. Chocolate, Chocolate Boy, Heidi Reich. Chocolate Boy. His whole gimmick was he was like a drug addict. Yeah. But he was just like to chocolate. His oh, parents like God. wouldn't let him eat chocolate, but his like what was this? His like his babysitter would just sneak him chocolate. I remember the boy. He was like in the corner. Chocolate was in the corner crying. He was like, I need the chocolate. <laughs> his face That's is chocolate all the time. <laughs> They tried to hypnotize him. Chocolate boy. <laughs> stoop oh. kid and chocolate boy and stoop monkey kids, man. Stoop kid won't get off a stoop. You stoop remember monkey man? Beast. That monkey guy was man. awesome. Yeah. Monkey man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Smackdown's sweet. SGH oh. Hey Arnold coming soon. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, yeah. give me hell yeah for, for Hey the Arnold Chocolate Boy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, we get the Big Show Thanksgiving segment. Oh now. my god! We're finally dude. here, boys. I don't know if I can make it through this fucking thing, bro. Oh, I got you, bro. We're gonna get we're gonna get through it just together. I promise. Yeah. You. So Joy sets up the Thanksgiving spread in the ring. Uh, it's still smelling all the fucking food. Still she smelling won't stop. and putting her fingers she in it. Eating she won't it. stop sniffing this fucking thing. Josh Matthews is also here now, by the way. One T Matthews. One T, of course. Uh, low T. Uh, he says it is time. <laughs> low T <key> Matthews. <laughs> That's the truth. He says it is time for a big show Thanksgiving. Says Joy spent a lot of time today. Make sure this is a memorable occasion. This food has been sitting here for over a fucking hour. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for Joy. And then... There are four turkeys. Not a single turkey has been carved. <laughs> Not one. We haven't got there yet. We, we'll get there. No, they never carve them. We'll get there. Just wait. 
No. And then you what guys happens? Car- you guys, you guys, family carved the turkey with the uh, electric gimmick. Yeah, or you- yeah okay. the most dangerous fucking yeah. thing in existence. <laughs> tell that bitch, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit. That shit. That's shit I love when I look at it. It's like <laughs> someone like, oh, I got it, I got it. Let me cut the turkey. They go into this. <laughs> <laughs> you get like the thinnest. <laughs> <laughs> finish shittiest slice from it. What the fuck are you doing? How <laughs> oh, that food taste? Uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Turkey's light, brother. <laughs> Get you next time, kid. Yeah, fuck turkey. I don't even like turkey. What? Um, really? Ham's where it's at, brother. No. Most of my life, man, I did eat. I, I ate some dry ass turkey. T- I always remember turkey being so You're not dry. You're a turkey guy either, James? <laughs> No, I mean, I like turkey. Like, it's just I remember when I was growing up. Yeah, man, it was just super dry. You know? I'm, I'm like, yeah. please give me all the gravy you got. I bet. Will you, you put on that, yeah. will you put on that green bean gravy. casserole? The green bean casserole. Well, definitely not marshmallows. <laughs> you put some onions, onions, onions on it. I don't it. know, bro. I swear. There's some marshmallows on the green bean casserole. No, that's right. Right. Yams, set up, bro. That's the yams. I no, I don't candy think so, man. That was, I think that not was marshmallows. candy greens. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> shout out what? Shout just shouting out. out shout I'm never inviting you to a deadlock Thanksgiving ever because you're going to bring candy, green bean casserole. It was George Giovanni, <laughs> candy man. turkey. That's fucking Sniffing and snarling all over the fucking marshmallows. It's pretty good. <laughs> 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 the hell's wrong with you? You want to try some of this? Sticks her head in no, Turkey dude. girl, who is this? <laughs> All right, so Joy Giovanni in the ring. Josh Matthews in the ring. Josh Matthews calls out the big show. He says, get your big ass down here. We're going to eat some food. <laughs> and then big show's music hits. It seems that I... That <laughs> Line. <laughs> Big Show comes out dressed like Peter Griffin. <laughs> He's Thanksgiving slacks. So. He had the belt you could take off too. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, good shit, man. Thankfully, not the square cut. God bless. Uh, Big oh, Show. Bald. No, he's full bald. He's full bald at this point. Why are you fucking bald, dude? <laughs> Why are you asking dumb questions like that? <laughs> Big Show confirms that Thanksgiving is indeed his favorite holiday. Yeah, haha. I bet you can bet, bet guess that. <laughs> Big Show then tests out his stand up comedy routine. <laughs> he said he personally asked Teddy Long that he could come out of here and talk about Thanksgiving. That's what the fuck you're doing in your career, right, Big, Big Show? You have no one you want to fight, no aspirations. Can you want to come and talk about Thanksgiving? Can we please remember that Big Show's render was this evil, malicious looking <laughs> monster? <laughs> he comes on the slacks. Hey, how's it going? Love Thanksgiving. <laughs> big, big Thanksgiving guy. Big thankful guy I am here. This right here is the reason they always had to rebuild the Big Show. We're going to reboot the Big Show. Yeah. Yeah. Every <laughs> Thanksgiving, we got to reboot the Big Show, guys. <laughs> it's like Michael Myers. <laughs> got to do it again, man. <laughs> Keeps coming out here and slacks. Send him back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big Show says that he would love to celebrate with the fans and the greatest announced team in the world. Except Jim Ross and Jerry work on Mondays. I can think of plenty of fucking ways I'd rather spend Thanksgiving than with the WWE fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big Show. Like, like Jerry too. Lawler, who almost got assassinated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Sorry, I want to invite Lawler, but he's fucking dead. <laughs> what the yeah, hell? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, Big Show makes an ECW reference to the DVD to Taz. Uh, yeah, he said, I know the ECW DVD just came out. Don't be a fucking mark. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> uh, Big Show then said, hey, you know, I got some stories about Thanksgiving. You know, one time I ate my parents. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be the Family Guy flashback, right? right yeah, this is where the flashback starts. Remember that, remember that time I ate my parents? <laughs> and then it goes to the flashback. Big Show says, imagine being the parent of a 12-year-old, six-foot-two child. How do you feed that? And Michael Cole says, buy a farm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. And Big Show says, I'm so big, I ate my parents. <laughs> what the fuck? So Big Show then says, well, you know, one Thanksgiving, my sister brought... Her boyfriend of Thanksgiving, I ate him too. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse than that, James. That's, I wish that's what that. he fucking said. I wish I always said. He said, that's a no-no. You can't bring your boyfriend over. It's more for them and less for me. So when my dad went outside to get some apple cider, 
I took a turkey and I hit my sister's boyfriend in the head with it, duct taped him, threw him in the garage, and told my sister he went home really sick. <laughs> you know that book that OJ wrote when he said that? This is how I would have done it. Big Show killed his sister's boyfriend because he wanted more marshmallows. <laughs> Please, if there's anybody out there that's listening that's an animator, please animate this. Or oh. find the whereabouts of Big Show's sister's boyfriend. <laughs> it's an all it boys is an bulletin. ongoing case. <laughs> it's an all boys bulletin. <laughs> Big Show's sister's boyfriend. Stabbed his last Netflix. scene, duct tape with a turkey leg stuff up his ass. <laughs> no, he actually took that out. Big Show ate that. Uh. Well, that's for him, of course. Could have waste that. <laughs> you, can, you can put this if you put like horror movie trailer music behind this promo, <laughs> the it would, it, would be, oh. it would be a horror movie. <laughs> Big show. Yeah, and my sister's boyfriend came over. Yeah, I killed him. And I fucking put him in the garage. And I, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my parents. <laughs> yeah, now, well, why don't everybody else get in the ring now? <laughs> yeah, let's all have some more. Yeah, I hate my parents. Because he, he kept going back. What was the one line he kept going back to? He said, uh, less for you. More yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, it's the Thanksgiving killer. Less for you, more for me. Is... <laughs> That'd be a great horror movie. That's the name actually. of the movie. Less for yeah. you, more for me. That, that was, was a horror yeah. movie waiting to happen, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, Big Show talks about his favorite food, which uh, <laughs> mashed potatoes, green bean casserole with the little marshmallows. Is what he said. Fried marshmallows. <laughs> 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 what is wrong with you? That's what he Fuck, said. Johnny. I, didn't, you know, I don't just, do that. You know, yes, you do. I don't like doing Philly. I don't eat no green bean casserole, bro. You don't like green bean casserole? Green casserole? No, no, shit. no, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Oh, like, God. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here. So no Get green bean casserole. Yeah, no, bro. I don't Get want that. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. You fucked up. You Pum fucked up. Pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin pie? You like pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie is pretty sweet, yeah. yeah. You like mashed potatoes? I, say, I love me a mashed potato, bro. Do you like cranberry sauce shaped like a can? No, I don't like cranberry sauce. <laughs> no, it's got to be shaped like candy. It's got to be shaped like candy. It's got to be shaped like candy. What if it's not shaped like candy? Do you want? I want to be shaped like candy. Is there ever an instant one that's not shaped like a candy? It's not shaped like a candy. I'm gonna tie you up and then I'm like, oh shit! That sounds like the football music. That's not what I was gonna. Big Show said he it. ESPN update. Big Show killed his sister's boyfriend. Breaking news. More at seven. Now for weather. Big Show had. It's gonna rain. It's raining sideways. Big. Show sucks. Editor, editor, clean this up. Big Show says, I ate my parents, and then he says, my mouth is watering already. Whoa. Yeah. Just talk to the editor. He can't clean this up. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big Show, he's honestly, horny. all his favorite food is pretty good. Like, he's got a pretty solid list of, of Thanksgiving food. I mean, you need and a meat in there somewhere, probably. He's turkey. He's got turkey, brother. Got I don't know if I would do turkey for my Big Meat, though. Big Show got four of them for you, brother. So we better figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, you. That's true. I mean, hey, I'm here for it. He's horny um, as fuck for you. He says, I'm doing a little be better now after I killed my parents and my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> so I want to put a Thanksgiving spread off for my friends and family that are left. <laughs> <laughs> They're still alive. <laughs> he invites oh. Taz, Michael Cole, Tony Chimmel, and the timekeepers into the ring. Yes. Um, and then Joy Giovanni, Big Show asks her to make, make a play some plays. Boys. <laughs> Make some, make some plates for the boys. Yeah, like, <laughs> Joy, Joy scoops up some shit for Taz and then puts a, the top of a pineapple? fucking pineapple on his plate. Taz, was you ribbing me, brother? What the hell is this? <laughs> and then Taz goes down the line and starts using the same fucking utensil to scoop all the food. Oh my god, Taz. <laughs> what what a, menace, what dude. a fucking uh, maniac. Do not do that. That's the number one rule at Thanksgiving. Don't fuck? use the same utensil. Oh, what's going on here? Well, everyone's getting their plates. It's a good time. You know, everybody hanging out doing the thing <laughs> and then luther reigns in a suit comes out <laughs> luther reigns Who? music hits taz looks at the, the tribal chief no Damn. the original Damn death it. dealer Damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> his music kids, Taz, looks at the entranceway, shrugs, and then goes back to using the same utensil to get more food. <laughs> Taz could not give a fuck about Luther Reigns. This Luther Reigns start. It felt like while he was kept going, more and more Scott Steiner started to come out of him. Yeah. <laughs> it was very. Oh, it was very fucked. So I had to ask myself. Yeah, that was, I felt he was gonna go there. Yeah, he's out of his mind. Uh, Luther Rain says, real fine moment. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy. Did it occur awesome. to you that not everybody feels the same way about Thanksgiving that you do? Me? I hate it. Because I never had no Thanksgiving. <laughs> Every holiday I can remember was spent fighting on the run or in prison. <laughs> Locked down 23 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> Luther Rain's giving his prison mic from the office. <laughs> Oh, I think I had was the Dementors. <laughs> Even worse is that Luther Reigns has the square cut. <laughs> he does have the square cut is fucked. Oh, Luther oh. Reigns says, never had no family come and visit me. Never had no good food. Why Only food I ever had. Mr. T. <laughs> Only food I, I ever pity, had. I pity the same had bread and, and spoiled meat. <laughs> Dang, spoiled meat. <laughs> You're a bunch of, well, he does say, you're a bunch of damn fools. <laughs> yeah, he, says, he, says, he says, this is not a celebration, this is a war zone. This is a war zone. You people don't know what real problems are. Taz is eating during this promo. <laughs> <laughs> Taz could not give a fuck about Luther Reigns. So I thank oh. myself every day for saving my own neck. You know, since you're inviting everybody out here, I'm going to go ahead and invite myself. I don't think Big Show uninvited, and uninvited Luther Reigns. I think he was allowed no, to come. I don't think that. I don't no, I no Luther Reigns. I was wondering, do you think Taz knew what was about to come, so he just started eating food as fast as he could before Probably he got Probably sound like you brought up. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is Luther Reigns invited to either of your Thanksgiving parties? It's parties. Sorry, he's in prison, I think. You told me he's in prison. <laughs> 23 he's hours a day. Sorry. He's, he's in come. prison. 23 hours a day. What the fuck? 23 hours a day. Seven days a week. The one hour Lockdown. he's free, he's on SmackDown? <laughs> what am I going to do? I can't fucking do that. <laughs> like, that's, I have one hour that's release his, to go to his, SmackDown. His community services has got to work SmackDown. <laughs> oh, 2004 SmackDown <laughs> shit. Fuck. Oh, Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. 7, bro. <laughs> 23 hours a day. He has <laughs> one hour to go to SmackDown. <laughs> got to work, brother. Court ordered. Community <laughs> service. Court ordered. Court ordered Smackdown. Smackdown. Booking. <laughs> and a program with the big show. Fuck. Oh my god. So the fucking suit. The fucking suit. <laughs> that oh suit my is, god. He looks. It makes him look smaller somehow. <laughs> like he looks. He looks oh. like he's five two. Oh my god. <laughs> so Luther Reigns gets in the ring. He looks at Joy, he says, You gonna serve me? <laughs> he said, Why don't you give me some of this turkey? Some of the mashed potatoes. Let me get some of them peas. I've had peas before. <laughs> the right, the I've had peas, peas before. The this guy peas the what does that even mean? I've had peas before. I, had peas. I think you're an asshole and you've never had peas? What the fuck? Uh, I didn't well, say you've been in prison for 23 hours a day for a second. Seven days a week. <laughs> Lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at peace. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> oh, fuck. 23 hours. I'm gonna get some of that peace. I'm peaceful. <laughs> myself no oh, more peace or not oh my god oh my I'm god hungry. are we gonna get over this we're all gonna die this is put on the middle rope Just a peace I'm at peace before Joy is doing it too yeah, I got some of that bitch oh, and then so the rains <laughs> picks up a pie he said I saw you doing this licks it <laughs> And then smashes it into Joy's face. Oh my god. Why man. would you do that? Why would you do that? She he serving sma turkey uh, mashed potatoes and peas. In, I don't oh. know. Smashes like, a pie into Joy's face. Doesn't even get his mashed potatoes, turkey, or peas that he's had before. 
<laughs> at least eat first, you know? Come on, dude. And then Joy is just wiping the pie all over her stupid <laughs> fucking face. God, no. What are you doing, girl? And then Big Show grabs <laughs> Luther Ray's head. <laughs> <laughs> Lock I'm gonna have a heart breathe. attack, I think. I can't yeah. <laughs> Big Show smashes Luther Reigns' head into the fucking table. Shit goes flying. Big Show picks up a turkey. A whole, 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 turkey, turkey. whole turkey by the leg. And then goes to swing it, but it fucking breaks off. And he throws the turkey like at his face and then super kicks him. <laughs> he pauses too before he super kicks him. The turkey like breaks off. He doesn't know what to do. He's gonna shank him like a Zeus to the casino. Oh, wow. With a turkey leg and a kidney? He had the turkey leg in his hand and he had flashbacks of when he shoved it up his sister boyfriend's ass. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luther Rain says, I'll be a lot of thanks giving you a man. <laughs> and then Taz picks up a whole turkey and darts it at somebody. <laughs> Uh, it's a big food fight. Taz is like legitimately trying to kill people with whole turkeys, like smashing uh, them with them. Fly, shit's going everywhere. Food fight Sh breaks out. Crazy Josh Matthews shit. and Tony Chum are working spots. They do the international. Dude, dude, <laughs> Josh Matthews and Tony do the broad panty smash where they roll they over do, the They referee. do the cat fight thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Joy. Giovanni puts smashes the cake in the Big Show's or one of the pies in the Big Show's she face. Pies Big Show, and, and Big Show looks so angry that I sw I was like, Big Show's gonna <laughs> choke slam her through this fucking table. But instead, he starts eating the pie and dancing. <laughs> And then he hugs oh, Joy. The <laughs> he hugs <laughs> Joy at one point. Uh, yeah. yeah, hugs. And then after this segment, Deb uh, asked me if we could please pick one normal wrestling show to watch. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this was. Fuck up, oh, to say my the least. gosh. Oh, man. <sighs> you okay? That's James. Big Show's Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't catch my breath for a second. <laughs> 23 hours a day. <laughs> I'm in a pin. I'm in a pin. 23 hours a day. So does we. 20 hours a day. I like how one hour a day is community service for SmackDown. One hour community. Good order. <laughs> SmackDown. <laughs> oh, wow. That's why oh, I'd man. ask myself. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so next is the Kurt Angle Town Hall. <laughs> well, don't forget Taz and Cole are on commentary yeah. wiping each other down with all the pies and the turkey. Er, it's of everywhere. Cranberry sauce is everywhere. Tony Chimmel looks like a goddamn Christmas tree at this point. There's one of the one of the timekeepers is like wiping Chimmel's ears and Taz, hey, get over here, brother, wipe my ears. <laughs> oh, man. Kurt comes out, straps already down. Hell yeah, you damn right. What's that He's about? Put James? him up to put him down. He did he that. He did it. that most of this run. Re the the oh. wrestling machine, and then the uh, TNA when he went TNA the first time. That's fair. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, sure. Yeah, he just got a jacket. You know, you got added a jacket. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's fucking big too. He comes out he with a cop. He looks so good here. He yeah. does, dude. He looks incredible. Did you um, uh, did you recognize one of these police officers? Detroit's okay. finest. Is that who this was? <laughs> No. So who were these guys? I don't know who the the guy on the right was, but the bald one, why are you bald, was Darren Young. I thought so. You know what? Whoa, okay. Darren Young on the left, and I, I, for a second, if I looked with my eyes, like, squinting? barely, yeah, squinting, it kind of like a Tyler Breach type dude, honestly. Yeah, I could see, or, uh, it looked like, it actually looked like one of the guys from a previous Tough Enough to me, but I don't know if it actually was. It was Daniel oh, right. Rodheimer. You got to eliminate early. <laughs> no, fuck it. Sorry, Jody. <laughs> He's back already. <laughs> they signed him right away. Uh, Kurt Angle <clears throat> says he has gotten a lot of feedback about how happy they are about the Kurt Angle invitation, how well it's been going. <laughs> he says, unlike the big show who exploited Thanksgiving and lured <laughs> Luther Reigns down here for an ambush, <laughs> I'm thankful true. for the American holiday. <laughs> Uh, there's still cranberry on the microphone, by the it's way. It's on the ring, too. It's just everywhere. They didn't it's change fuck. the canvas. Just I fuck. couldn't believe it. So the Kurt Angle Invitational, for anyone who doesn't remember, is an open challenge to any hometown heroes to try to pin or submit Kurt Angle and win his Olympic gold medal. Kurt says, let the games begin, live or die. <laughs> Make your choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out comes Cody Steele from Rochester, Down New York. Do you recognize Cody Steele at all? No, who is this? Cody Steele is one Cody Deaner from TNA. 
Oh, really? Yes. Kurt Angle says, because it's Thanksgiving, he is going to let Cody Steele start on top, and I'm going to start on bottom, and that gives you an advantage. He says, am I a uh, fair man? Cody says, you are. Kurt says, you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt fucks oh Cody my Steele God. straight to shit, man. He gives him the hell driver and then up. <laughs> this is fucked. He beats the shit out of him. Uh, he stomps him out too. Kurt has a booger at one point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think like, the ref came to Iggy about. It. He said, "You got boogers out there." Then they they switch. Cody gets on all fours this time, and Kurt lines up. And Kurt soccer ball kicks this guy right in his fucking face. Oh my <laughs> That's god! Awesome. It was you. so fucking loud. This kick. I was like, "Oh my god!" Then Kurt hit might possibly one of the best looking Olympic slams ever. This was crazy. It was looking. fucked. Yeah, yeah. The way he got him up was crazy. He throws him up and like loses the grip on him, but he's in the air still spinning, <laughs> and he fucking Fuck. catches him. Olympic slam. It was not like it wasn't obviously too high, but it was enough that it like it looked insane. Yeah, Hits dude, with the I fucking loved the way it looked. Angle slam puts him in the ankle lock, and Kurt Angle wins. <laughs> Hell yeah, he wins. God damn, man. Fuck, dude. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, that's that's the segment. Kurt Angle leaves with his gold medal. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, win. I win and you suck forever. Uh, there is now another Thanksgiving bumper. Oh, guys, it is of course Taz and Michael Cole Turkey. <laughs> I don't. How, how can Taz, you tell which one is Taz? Well, I think he has an orange fucking tie. <laughs> <laughs> Got sunglasses on the turkey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's too. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Cole is just Michael Cole Turkey. I don't know really how you can tell that one. They should have put I, the goatee on or whatever. I think Taz call t- Taz Turkey calls Michael Cole Turkey girl pants. Is that what he yeah. says? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right. Fucking and then they both die. I think <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> well, now it's time for the tough enough town hall two. Fuck. Oh, brother! Is this the Pretty first time we've ever seen this? Two town halls in one episode of the same people? of the same yeah, people. It might be, might be new Maybe record. It's, all, it's probably holiday special. They're working for free, brother. Get them on TV. You know, take up time. <laughs> yeah, we need to fill spots. <laughs> yeah, send, Pretty send much. Tough yeah. enough fuckers out this there. This is rough. This is horrible. I wrote this down too. If you want me to, yes, please go for it. Shoot. I don't. I didn't. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the tough enough contestants come back out here with Al Snow looking like a smacked ass. Al Snow says, "In honor of Thanksgiving, <laughs> we're going to give you each twenty seconds to tell the audience what you're thankful for." Mm-hmm. Mike sure. Mizanin is up first. He says, "I'm thankful for being in the top four. Hoorah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm thankful for the Misfits voting for me." You gotta love that baby. <laughs> and I'm thankful I'm not a brown noser like pewter. Hoorah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hoorah Rah. never worked, right? It never got over. No, it never actually dude. went anywhere. No. Okay, good. Th- that end, this is the true story. That never worked either. <laughs> well, that <laughs> made more trying. sense. Brian. That made more sense because he sure. was on, you know, real world. Ryan but. Reeves gets the microphone next. He says, I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> 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 he says, I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for my family and for the WWE for giving me this opportunity. S- survey time. <laughs> what the hell? Y'all like Scott Hall? <laughs> <laughs> you like music? You like yeah, Thanksgiving? It's time for the Silverback survey. I was like, Silverback oh survey? God, what? Silverback Did you come survey. to see these three tough enough clowns? And then no one reacts. <laughs> <laughs> or did you come to see Silverback Ryan Reeves. Uh, like, yeah, it, it's, <laughs> before he begins to say, did you come and see Silverback Ryan Reeves? Like Tony said, the buzzer goes off. 20 seconds is over. Al Snow comes over and trying to rip the microphone out of his hand. He's trying to whoop his ass. <laughs> Al Snow is pissed. Give <laughs> that shit. <laughs> uh, Justice Smith gets the mic nice. He thanks God. He thanks his friends. Uh, every, he thanks everyone. And he thanks Vince McMahon. And then Al Snow, give me the fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> And then Daniel Pewter, last but certainly not least, he thanks his fans, his friends, his family, and most of all, Lord Jesus Christ, for putting me on SmackDown. <laughs> and I'd like to tell you my three favorite words are, are snap, crack, and pop, because I am, of course, a Rice Krispie. <laughs> Rice Krispie Daniel Pewter. That's Peter all I gotta say about that. what they call me. <laughs> for snap, crack, and pop. Okay, bro. Not too, brother. You said None of their catchphrases were good at all. None you're of like, them. Hoorah. Not one. Not one. <laughs> That's my reality. Boo me. <laughs> you're, you're not a silverback survey guy, Tony. I'm a snap, crackle, pop kind of guy. <laughs> survey <laughs> says I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> survey says I got to consult the silverback family. Do you all want to see me with Dumb Enough or retire? <laughs> <laughs> Another one for the trolls. <laughs> 
Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Uh, so <laughs> after that, we get um, a pre-tape of Heidenreich going yes. into the fetal position on the floor and having a mental breakdown. Emotional mm -hmm. breakdown on SmackDown during a match. He goes over the rail and starts groaning on the floor. And then Josh Matthews with one T interviews Paul Heyman backstage. Yeah, low T. One T. <laughs> Josh Matthews still covered in food. <laughs> Just doused in everything here. Uh... Yeah, I've, I don't know what he just he just asked him about Heidenreich, right? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, so what's the deal sure. with your client Heidenreich? Go, holy shit, he was his client. He was. Which I uh, mean, I, they never say it, like they never acknowledge it. But yeah, I, for those that may not know, Heidenreich's theme song, the Heidenreich voice saying Heidenreich is Paul Heyman. Uh, that's which sure, is a, sure. pretty fucking sweet, actually. <laughs> uh, Paul Lee just says that Heidenreich is under medical supervision and to have a thought or prayer for John Heidenreich. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> After he asked that, he said, you asked me a serious question about my client and you're dressed like this. <laughs> got cranberries hanging out of your ass. What are you doing here? We go backstage. Jackie Gata is with Michelle McCool. Even cool though we Alexander? Don't, yeah, we don't know who this is right now. I supposed not know who this is. Uh, doing stretches backstage. Uh, How Jackie's come you done stretches with, with me like this? If you want to, we can. I'll show oh, you how yeah, to do yeah. all this. Do some pike yeah. push ups. Do some shit yeah. like that, too. Cock you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, you already know what the fuck's uh, going on. Yeah. I'll take you at Thanksgiving dinner. I'll tie yeah, you yeah. up. I'll let hold you on, know. Wait, hold on a second. What the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Less for you, more for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie says, no way that Charlie Haas would cheat on her. There's just no fucking way that's true. Absolutely. Michelle McCool says, you know. That ain't fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of truth to every rumor. And then Charlie Haas walks in and says, hey, how's it going? That's how I'm doing all right. So Jackie then says that she is excited to rip Don Marie's clothes off. He says that Charlie Haas. Charlie Haas says, I promise Good. you. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not cheating on you. He also looked at Michelle's ass as she left very blatantly. And then they make out. Yeah. They, and I wrote, okay. <laughs> well, guess what man it's time for Jackie Gata versus Dawn Marie Pilgrim versus Indian match yeah uh, Dawn, I, Dawn Marie comes out and Michael Cole says I never thought I'd want to be scalped before <laughs> I did not hear him say that <laughs> 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 he's got a little uh, fucking stethoscope what, you, what it, the yeah. fuck does that even mean I don't That's even know I don't know maybe it's, it's I'm sure it's an insensitive thing that I don't know no, about it's, it's supposed to be sexual but like you know what scalping is it's, I don't know he's a fucking it, idiot yeah <laughs> Michael Cole says Miss Jackie is a pilgrim that is in a bad mood <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Those Taz, sound like one-liners from a video yeah. game. Oh my god. Taz asks, what are the rules here? Cole says, well, it's just a match. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. So then, <laughs> yo, I thought it was like a brown panties thing. It's not. It's just a match. Just a match. And it's, we don't even get that. <laughs> it doesn't even yeah, happen. they just they just start cat fighting and then it's it. And that's it. Yeah. Big fight. They just do a cat fight the whole time. Taz says it's like Pocahontas and Thomas Jefferson. I don't know what that fucking means. I have no fucking idea. I've Someone never way heard a smarter. True statement Someone in my life. <laughs> that is so said. true, Taz. Someone way smarter than me surely Michael understands said, no, that. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> that's no, that's fucking you mean. so true, man. Holy fuck! What wow. the fuck does that mean, bro? That's it's like apples right. and fucking cantaloupe, brother. That's fucking. True. <laughs> that's true. Holy apples shit! In the back seat of a car. Yeah, so a little Nate calls for the bell as the cat fight. Why? The match is thrown Did out. Did they push him? Um, is that what happened? Because he said, "We got to get the hell out of here, man. We got <laughs> <a bit. laughs> to get out of here." <laughs> so they Charlie, do shove him, I think, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah they shove him, and he goes, "I've never been shoved okay. like this in my life, and I'm done with that." <laughs> Bitch. Uh, Charlie Austin comes in and breaks it up. Uh, he gets shirt ripped up real nice. Taz uh, says, oh, Haas went to Don Marie first. And Cole says, you should write for the National Enquirer, Taz. And Taz says, well, maybe one day. <laughs> okay. That's the next step up in his career. Uh, we have WWE Armageddon brought to you. PlayStation 2. Yeah, PlayStation fucking 2. And, and they I said guess, something about Ratchet and Clank? Is that what it was? Yeah, also up Ratchet and Clank 3, up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, said, I got it right here. Brother, PlayStation 2 presents Armageddon, uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, 3, up your ass all. <laughs> All right, yeah, true. Well, no, is that right, brother? All right, yeah, that's, right. All right, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> they kind of just tacked that on there. Brought to you by PlayStation 2, 
Get Ratchet and Clank 3. Buy games. Ratchet and Clank, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, what the hell is that? All right, anyways. So this is Booker T and Eddie Guerrero against JBL and Orlando Jordan. What do you guys think of Orlando Jordan? He didn't really do too much in WWE. He, I think he, he might have one of the longest reigning, longest U.S. title reigns, actually. Really? Yeah, I The think only so. thing, man, that I remember, and you already know what the thing I remember it's, from Yeah, Orlando well, Jordan. we all TNA, remember. The TNA thing, right? the TNA, TNA thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. it. Like, that overshadowed anything he ever did. Yeah ever before they yeah. just that's all i remember is that with the, with the gum with the cream and the, cream yeah that's yeah. true okay so yeah uh when that's orlando with, jordan oh, he's in released in 06 so not too far away from 05 <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know if you noticed but three out of four people in this match came in this match in a car which i thought was pretty <laughs> interesting <laughs> oh yeah you know what that's a fucking good point what the hell um and i, I liked also, orlando jordan by the way i thought like they could have did more with him i think he he, he was, was so like, green here. He yeah, was he was so very green at that green. time, though. I think it him being in that spot and like being JBL's like second when JBL was fighting like Benoit and Guerrero yeah, and all those yeah, and Eddie yeah. like or you know Eddie Eddie and Guerrero Chavo is of course something I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> also <laughs> Russell Chavo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's probably hard for him to. You think? I mean, I guess maybe in some circumstances, they're like okay, that's how you learn. You're like fighting all these dudes, but those dudes were probably all. Jack the fuck up and didn't want to fucking deal with that shit. Yeah. I want to kick your ass. Actually, is what I'm gonna do. Eddie and JBL's chemistry is like top tier, dude. It's incredible. Yeah, they, they're they fantastic work together. together. They're so good. Yeah. Um, they start this match off here. JBL literally just they they lock up. JBL walks Eddie to the corner, and then Eddie just starts fucking hitting arm drags on. I was like, damn, this yeah. is ooh, ooh. awesome. Fuck you. Like, this yeah. is a really good way to put this over. He, fucking powders out and fucking I'm like wow they're really doing some good shit here yeah it's um, awesome. JBL hits a few elbows on Booker goes for the tag and Eddie pulls him off the fucking pin and almost pants him his ass cheeks <laughs> <were out. laughs> it's Thanksgiving special brother uh, Eddie then hits the three amigos but Orlando Jordan cuts him off yes um, and Booker, Booker fucking killed him with a sidekick Oh my God! He destroyed him, man. Yeah. And then the spine busters. Did you going up? And I'm gonna fucking yeah. take you down. Uh, <laughs> Orlando that did book like a of spine scuff. busters. Crazy. Yeah, I love that shit. I, I think we talked about that before. That that could just be a fan. Oh, we talked about Survivor Series though too. Yeah, yeah, could. yeah, yeah man. That the, is all now on our Patreon, nuts. of course. Yeah, that bump is crazy. Orlando did a scuffed Luthez press earlier too, by the way. Yeah, what happened there? Was he going yeah, like, for the Luthez press, or was he trying to like leapfrog and he just kind of turned it into the Luthez maybe. press? Maybe. Well, if and if it was the second, then that's probably better. But it looked like he like jumped too early on a Luthez and kind of was. Yeah, weird. I, I think know. that's what what's going on. Yeah. Well, Booker and Eddie both hit ten punches in the corner, but JBL instead just stuffs Eddie power bomb straight out the fucking corner. <laughs> fucking hell, big dude! Boots Booker, Annihilates man. him. Oh my god, that power bomb was gnarly. JBL then goes for the clothesline from hell, but Eddie ducks and then Booker hits the axe kick. I love that sequence. That was awesome. That was cool. You know what Dude, I also JBL love? JBL still throws that clothesline from hell like, like he's going to yeah. kill you, even if he's not going to. It's awesome. coming, motherfucker. Yeah, I, sweet. I love that they never renamed that move. Like, it was always clothesline from hell, even from the Acolytes run. They just kept uh, from hell. And yeah. JBL is also. I'm glad they did, too, because that's that move's iconic. It's yeah, awesome, yeah, me yeah. too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Macho... I heard Del Macho T that attacks Booker on the outside. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> there's a guy in a Rey Mysterio. <laughs> oh, shit. I, was, I thought you just were thinking of Macho. Or like, no, no. I, don't, I, was like, why, I was like, why did I write down Macho T that I was like, oh, yeah, the guy's in a Rey Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, Rey Mysterio, Mysterio mask Booker, attacks yeah. Booker, and it's Danny Basham. I'm glad they knew that because I didn't fucking know I that. don't know. Yeah, no fucking okay. clue. Uh, Doug Basham then knocks Eddie off the top with a rope. Oh my god. Um, he had long hair with a little wig on gimmick <laughs> and then uh, JBL pins him off the top rope gimmick for the win. Yeah, that's in that uh, JBL and Orlando Jordan get the win there. I was I was like, oh, okay, true. I really wanted to see a clothesline from Hill. Yeah. I couldn't believe he pinned yeah. him off the top rope thing. I was like, god damn it, hit him with a clothesline from Hill. No, fuck you. Uh, Basham Brothers, I believe, joined the cabinet. Next week. Oh, is that? Oh, soon? so they're not already in it. This is them joining. Right. I'm pretty sure it's uh, just right. Or, yeah, right. I some, believe either they're sometime around here. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, let me take a look real quick. They join in November of 04. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Secretaries of Defense. Yeah. Well, the lights go out. The gong, gong. goes off. Cole, mm, dude. With, I, Cole, what was Still, this? Uh, even then, he was doing this. Even then, he was doing this. Oh, Michael no. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, man. Uh, so Undertaker's here. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass fucking choke slam to Orlando Jordan, by the way. Just whoosh. Oh, yeah. JBL then sells like a motherfucker for this dude. He's a big boot. Taker tombstones him. 
Taker holds up the undisputed title. Did was this like just bad? It was this the? I mean, I know they did it for a while, and I feel like this. I I didn't write it down for earlier in the show, but I, I it stood out the most here for me. Taker holds up this belt. It sounds like the crowd's booing, but I don't think that's it. I think it's the the hair dryer sound effect that they used for SmackDown back then for the crowd noise, and it I just would, made yeah. it sound like they were booing them. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I yeah. would have booed him, booed him yeah. twice actually. <laughs> <I hate him. laughs> Boom and L, <laughs> clothesline <laughs> style. <laughs> JBL should beat him. But there you go. That was uh, that was fucking Thanksgiving Smackdown. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah that's we, fucked. We hope you all also had a great Thanksgiving Smackdown. I'm sure you hope you save some room. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> 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 Gotta go to jail now. <laughs>